Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, I have to first off thank Stress Angel for sending Bursting Church my direction after an absolutely fucking banger of a demo on Stygian Black Hand. The full length. Oh my god. If you know me, you know I love evil death metal. Especially evil sounding death metal that sounds like it was recorded like a couple decades ago. And still manages to fucking absolutely destroy 98% of the competition when it comes to death metal. Like, it's just so fucking perfect for what it is. And I know there's so many other bands out there trying so hard to nail what Stress Angel is doing with their sound. And I just think this is one of those records that if for some reason, you know, you didn't hear the demo or you don't follow Stitch and Black Hand, you probably should start because this is legit hands fucking down one of the best full length records, death metal or otherwise, in 2021 so far. And first off, the cover is absolutely gorgeous. And just whoever captured like the actual like window blowing out of that church, fuck. Like, that's gnarly. And what a good promo photo. And again, just kind of, you know, going back to simpler times. And that's what this reminds me of. Riffs, vocally especially. Like, you know, there's no, like, fucking Predator-style vocals that come out of nowhere. It's just, like, straight fucking to the jugular, just you know, venomous death metal. Like, it just sounds evil and sinister and no bullshit. Like, this is boof-free death metal. And, like, you can call it, like, you know, is it black metal? Is it death metal? It's on that, like, morbid angel altars of madness argument you'll get in with some people. Well, the lyrics are very black metal oriented, and that is true. Like, if you read the lyrics to Altars of Madness, that shit is straight up, like, as evil and over the top as it fucking gets. But, like, the music, you know, it's going off of the blueprint of death metal and whatnot. But, is it a true death metal record? Is it a black metal record it's a death metal record in my opinion but i've had that argument with more than like three people which is very surprising but when it comes to stress angel sound like it really reminds me of like severed survival error autopsy at times but not really as like it kind of has that vibe at times, but then vocally... It's like... Def like it's just got that kind of... Evil, East Coast... Like... Venomous spit. Like, the way he, like... Like, I, I just love the way, like, the vocals are on this record. My one speaker is still giving me problems, and I can't get to it, obviously. But, yeah, this is so fucking good. Like, 
riffle-rama the whole way through, and it's one of those records, like, I, I think that they were accidentally also, like, given the wrong color variant, like, it was supposed to be on this, like, I, I guess to match the flaming church, like, this, this is so fucking cool, I'm sorry. I'm telling you, Stress Angel is just one of those bands that kind of came out of nowhere and just fucking, like, kicked me in the testicles with awesomeness, like, because this is what, like, that's exactly what this is. It, it's just total fucking hellfire, and I love it. Like, it's just nonstop awesomeness the entire running time and yeah it's just one of those records it immediately like like the first time i listened to it i was just like oh my god like this is fucking amazing thank you because i really assumed like Everybody was in the know about Stress Angel, but I guess I might have been wrong. But I know they have a show coming up with Sanga Sugabog, so like they're gonna fuck, in my opinion. Like, yo, that's the band to see because it's their first show ever, and they're gonna play some evil ripping death metal. I would say, you know what, if you're a fan of superstition. You're really gonna like this. Like, definitely. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> I should have said that first. Like, imagine Autopsy meets Superstition with a mix of just, like, that... Like I was saying, that early... Not, like, total guttural, but just, like, yelly death metal vocal that just... It sounds evil and venomous. Like there's even like a fucking cackle on there, and and I I love the cackle. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like there'll be some super fucking like proto evil riff going on, and then the vocalist will just go like, <laughs> and it's just oh, you know, it's fucking oh, it makes it sound. Some people will say it makes it sound corny. To me, it just sounds like an ultra evil king diamond and i fucking love it i'm guilty of it if you listen to a cursed womb closely there's a couple tracks uh we we put it real low in the mix we might have even got rid of it but like i remember on one song i was just like joking around and i was like <laughs> like in between like this one like riff and like this fast part but you know what that's a good idea for the future. I wouldn't mind, like, adding an element of, like, ancient death metal. Because that's what Stress Angel play. It's just that ancient death metal that's oozing evil. So it's, like, borderline on that, you know, level of blackness like that. Is it a death metal riff, or is it a black metal riff? I just know it's fucking awesome. But like... I could squeeze invisible fucking grapefruits, so... Yeah. This is top shelf fucking... tunes in 2021 right here. And especially for a full length that kind of just dropped out of nowhere and I really hope this isn't, you know, a one-off. I Like, well, the fact they're playing live makes it, you know, it's not one-off and that's fucking great. I don't know if that show happened already. If it happened already, I apologize and I'm gonna go look up live footage if it did happen, but like, like the vocals, drums, and percussion by Manny Soares. I think I know like who that might be. I, I don't want to give 
names away because I was looking through and like I was like I recognize these dudes and stuff like and yeah but like this album is just so fucking good I don't know how many times I could say that but that's why you don't fucking smoke cherry kush before you make a video but Fred Etsby and again, I'm not going to spoil what other band he's in that I absolutely, like, worship. And I'm not using that word, like, ironically. But, um, yeah, one of my favorite, um, like, American black metal bands, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah black metal bands. He, he plays in, and he's just... He was working uh, another amazing band's merchandise table, and that was how I found out like his real name and stuff. And I was like, oh, like cool. I know who that guy is, but uh, yeah, Fred Etsby's production, fuck yeah. Like I I'm kind of ha like I want to work with Fred. Honestly, like I would love to work with Fred for like the Accursed Womb full length or I, I know we're gonna work with Matt Williams again aka MSW I think for a split we're doing but um like Fred is on my radar and like he's somebody who lately I think could really you know do our sound justice like they gave me a thank you I just noticed that, yo. Thanks, guys. Thanks to Schnell. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Dude, when a band you like... I'm sorry, I'm like cheesing. When a band you like goes out of their way to thank you on a fucking vinyl record, it's a big deal. I don't care. Like That made my fucking day, yo. Thanks, Stress Angel. Again, I'm not spoiling, you know, shit. But all you need to know about Bursting Church is if you like extreme music, you're gonna fucking love this. If you don't love this, I don't know what to tell you. But, um, yeah, like, tracks such as Flaming Kingdom, Bursting Church, Church Godless Shrill, Exposure to a Disease, Starving in a Closet, Life Alert, Providence, Angel of Stress, Mobile's Kiss, or Mohel's Kiss, sorry. Final Doom is such a badass fucking song. And then The Human. Like, listen how evil this fucking sounds. Very, very Americanized, and that's one of the things that makes this so fucking sick. Like, again, like, if you don't get what these guys are going for here. Wow! Like, fucking. I, I, alright, like, right now, go on the Stitch and Black Hand band camp and go check this out. And just so you know. I don't know if this was a mistake at the um, vinyl pressing plant, but I personally don't care. And like I said, I'm grateful to even have a copy of this bad boy. And like I said, I didn't know that they, they thanked me, but the LP on the uh, band camp, I, I don't know if they changed it or not, but it's yellow. But I think it's actually pink because uh, a friend of mine got the same thing. And this looks fucking badass. I'm trying to get the sunlight correctly. I just realized my light wasn't on. Maybe that will work. Let's see. Because, like, it looks, it's, I forget what, uh, like, you see those, like, marks and stuff, like, it just looks super cool, like, when you just, like, put it out in, like, the sunlight and shit. But, cosmetically, normally, I, I don't really care, but, like, that, it just really caught my attention. I was like, yo, that's fucking badass. 
and this whole record is fucking badass. Like, like I was saying, it's straight up just like ancient sounding. And when I say ancient sounding, I'm talking 19, like 88 to 1991, like sounding. And like, you can't go wrong with like just, you know, like a pentagram, keeping it fucking evil and simple. I love their logo also. Uh, I'll show you up here. Like, it, again, simple, but it gets the fucking point across and looks very, very classic. And that's the thing about Stress Angel compared to a bunch of these other bands that are going for a similar, you know, sound and whatnot, but end up still getting stuck in the trends of today. If you want to, you know, make old school death metal you don't have to go the finish route like don't get me wrong that's a great fucking route like my band goes down that road of obviously i'm a huge like i feel like everybody in the death metal scene is but like also we're all huge american death metal fans and fans of early american like black death metal especially and i know personally like so much cool stuff came out of america from like 1988 to 1993 and so on like america is one of those countries i feel like sometimes when it comes to extreme metal europe always gets mentioned above us and there's certain times where it's like, all right, like, yeah, like, but then there's other times where it's like, yeah, but I feel like we play this style a million times better than you guys. Like, I can't picture a band like Stress Angel coming out of Europe without, like, trying to sound too hard. And that might sound harsh, but, like, this flows organically, and it just has that fucking vibe to it and i guess that's all you really need to do would be to capture that vibe but that's what fred did with the production here and that's why i really fucking keep mentioning the production because it just has that vibe to it that's like yo this sounds dirty this sounds evil but when i say dirty i'm not talking like the production's raw the production is crispy it, it's really fucking good it's mixed great it sounds great but like what i'm talking about is like just the way like the vocals are mixed it's just so on the money and it's everything that it should be and more Bursting fucking, ch bursting church. I shouldn't call it bursting fucking church because I'll be getting messages. It's not called bursting fucking church. It's just bursting church. But this is some fucking evil, evil black death metal from America. E-fucking central. And I know I say that a lot, but... I fucking mean it. I love this band. And I can't believe they thanked me. Like, based off that demo. And just fucking total support. Hails to Stygian Black Hand. Hails to Stress Angel. Everyone involved. And you maniacs at home for watching. You fucking rule. This is a 10 out of 10. It's, like, legit. Like the cover. It's fucking fire just listen to it if you like your death metal evil as fuck and just killer trend free ripping and awesome so as always thanks for watching you fucking rule again thank you stress angel and thank you maniacs that are involved with patreon and everything and just watching this fuck yeah